Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, to the Torah, Shashi, Yasha, Allah, give me the chorus, Allah, and the glory and praise. I see Yahweh, Bahasham, Mahashi, Wamalaki, Abasha, that's all praises, on the glorification, unto the Most High, Yahweh, who is the Father in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Shah, this is your brother, Yasha, Allah, coming back, y'all, with yet another video through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Mahashi, Wamalaki, Abasha. Alright, so this is um going into Psalms 103. And remember, Psalms 103, um, if you haven't read it yet, this is a psalm of, of mercy, all right? This is a psalm of mercy. Even when you go to uh, when you go to the 1611 um, caption, all right, in the book of Psalms, chapter 103, in the 1611, it'll tell you in the top, it'll say, uh, an exhortation to bless God for his mercy and for the consens consistency or consistency thereof, right? So... Um, this this psalm is going into the mercies of the Lord. All right, so let's read this real quick. Not that many chapter. I mean, it's like not that many verses, and it's a very very heavy verse. All right, Psalm chapter one hundred three and verse one, where right? it says, "Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name." Right, bless Yahweh. That's what the Lord means right here. Right, bless Yahweh. All right. It says, what well, bless Yahweh, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless Yahweh, right? Barakat the Yahweh, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, right? Don't forget the benefits of the Lord. Don't forget what the Lord did for the nation of Israel. Don't forget what the Lord is doing for you, right? He's leading you in, in the righteous path right now as we speak. If you're in this truth, let's go to Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 17. It says, God. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Isaiah 48 and 17, Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee the prophet, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. See that? So that's who the Lord does. The Lord leads you in the way that you should go. He gives you certain benefits, right? All the time, right? All the works of the Lord. Look at all the works of the Lord, right? Uh, Sirach 11 and 4 says that the, the, the Lord's works are hidden among men. Right, but it says Psalms one hundred three in verse two, bless the Lord on my soul and forget not all his benefits. Right, let's get this in the book of uh. Let's get this in the book of uh. So like yeah right. Let's go to um addition to Esther. Addition to Esther chapter one. Right, uh, let me see here. Right. But I want to get this. All right. Come on. So this is the book of uh, Editions of Esther, chapter 4, and verse 8. All praise. It says, Then Mardokus, which is uh, Mordecai, thought upon all the works of the Lord and made his prayer unto him. You see that? So he thought upon all the works of the Lord, which we should be doing as well. All right. So Psalms 103, and verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Right. So the Most High, he forgives your iniquities. All right. The Most High has power to forgive your iniquities, as well as what who healeth all thy diseases. So, the Most High, He's the one that heals your disease. Let's say you overcame cancer, right? Hey, that was from the Most High, right? The Most High gave you that, and He took it away, right? So, if you overcome a disease, if you have a disease, and you got healed by it, hey, that's from the Most High, all right? Let's get this. Let's go to Sirach chapter thirty. Sirach chapter 30. So like uh, Sirach 38, right? Sirach chapter 38 and verse 1. Honor a physician. A physician is a doctor. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which he may have of him. For the Lord have created him. So the Lord created the doctor. Verse 2. For out for of the most high cometh healing. So that's where the most high. So like, that's where the uh, healing comes from. From the most high. Yeah, it can come from a doctor. Yeah, it can come from herbs, uh, medicine, right? But ultimately, it's from the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh who heals your disease, right? Because even on a certain level, uh, Yahweh, he's the one that created the person to create that medicine. You see that? So all glory still goes on to him. It says, for of the Most High cometh healing, 
and he shall receive honor of the king. All right. Uh, verse 4, the Lord created mes medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. All right. So the Most High, he cre created all that stuff. All right. Psalm 103 and verse 4, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. We've seen that happen in multiple occasions in the scriptures. Right. Read the book of Esther. The Most High redeemed uh, 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 thousands of Jews' lives. Right. Thousands of Israelites' lives from destruction. Right. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with love and kindnesses, loving kindness and tender mercies. You see that? Verse 5. I mean, you want that tender mercy, right? Like it reads in the book of uh, Isaiah 55, right? It's the book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 3. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I'll make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Right? Because the David received um, sure mercy from the Most High, right? This mercy was uh, uh, was very, very high. The Most High's mercy was very, very high with David because he committed sin, right, and iniquity and transgression. Yet the Most High forgave him of his sin, right? Let's get this in the book of Psalms, chapter 32. Psalms, chapter 32, right, in verse 5. I acknowledge my sin unto thee. And this is a... Uh, David talking, right? I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. It's a lot. You see that? So David said, look, hey, you forgave the iniquity of my sin. And so we want the Lord to forgive us of our iniquities because our iniquities are very great, right? Uh, Psalms 103 and verse 5. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things. Right, even on a, a physical level, the Most High gives you food, raiment, right, uh, food, you know, water, and and you know the daily bread on the physical level, and on the spiritual level, right, that's going into what wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right. When you read uh the Book of Proverbs, right, chapter nine, Proverbs chapter nine, and verse four, or I'm sorry, to verse five, it says, "Come eat my bread." Eat my bread and drink of the wine which I've mingled. Right? So the most high gives you what? He gives you um things that's sufficient for you, right? Talking about um the spiritual bread. Alright. Let, let's get this. It's the book of uh Proverbs. It's a lot. Right, Proverbs chapter twenty-five and verse sixteen. Right, Proverbs chapter twenty-five, verse sixteen. It says, Has thou found honey? Right, it's talking about this honey is talking about um knowledge of wisdom and understanding, right? Has thou found honey, eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Meaning you don't want to um overwhelm yourself in the truth. You don't want to uh read too much, you don't want to uh study too much, or else you're just gonna vomit that information up, that wisdom up. All right. We have to eat it at a, a moderate pace, right? But come. Let's go back. Psalm chapter one oh three. In verse 5, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. So when you study eagles, right, when you study an eagle, um, um, basically what the, the uh, what David is referring to is when an eagle sheds or changes its feathers, right? It's, it's um, uh, yeah, come when it changes its feathers, right? Let's go to this real quick, um. Eagle, right? Um, look, right? So, hold on. Let me get this real quick, right? Uh, it's referring to the plumages, right? Right, watch this, watch this, right? See, as you can see, Right, right here. This is what David is referring to. So, when um a eagle is a half year old, this is what it looks like, right? And then, as you can see, as it gets older, it's changing its skin or its lock, its uh feather color. Now, David is referring to that, right? Because it says so that thy youth is renewed, right, like the eagles, and that's being likened. 
hey, being like it onto what? A new man, right? Let's get that precept. It's the book of uh, 2 Corinthians 7. Let's look. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Right? 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Mahashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You see that? A new creature. It looks like almost a different new, you know, a new creature. It doesn't even look like the same bird, but guess it. Guess what? It is. All right. You see that? So that's what that's talking about. All right. Psalm chapter one hundred three. <laughs> In verse 6, the Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Right. And the Lord, yes, he does that. All right. Don't worry. Because we're being we're the ones that's being oppressed. And so the Lord, hey, he's not just going to forget all the things that these other nations have done unto us. He's gonna he's gonna uh, avenge us, right? Let's go to the book of Luke. Alright, this is the book of Luke. Chapter 12 and verse 7. Luke chapter 12 and verse 8. Also I say unto you. Also look. Um, what was this at? Luke. Right. Um, come. It's a. Uh, Oh, con, it's like Luke chapter 18, verse 7, it says, And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? And who's it, who is his elect, man? Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1, says that Israel is the Most High's elect. So the Most High, he's going to avenge his own elect, right? Which cry day and night unto him. Why? Because we're constantly being oppressed. Read the curses, right? Deuteronomy chapter 28 says that everywhere that we go, we'll be oppressed, always. Right, and we're not going to find any rest. Right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 103, verse 7. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Right, and where are these acts recorded at in this Bible? Right, he made his known his hit. It's like he made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. You see that, and these. Records are written in this book, and these records are only for you, all right? You Israelites. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 107, or it's like Psalm 100, uh, it's like 147, verse 19. It says, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He showeth his word unto who? Unto Jacob. You see that? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known him. Praise ye, Yahweh. All right? So Psalm chapter 103, verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenty is in mercy. All right? So the Lord, hey, he's merciful and gracious. We have to understand the other side of the Lord. Because the Lord, yes, he's a man of war. Yes, he's a king of terrors. Yes, he's very dreadful, right, among the heathen. But he's not just that. Right? He's a balance. Remember, the false balance is abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is his delight, Proverbs 11 and 1. So we have to also understand um, the, the, the merciful and gracious side of the Lord. That he is very merciful and gracious. Right? Slow to anger. Hey, hey, he's slow to anger. Right? And plenteous in mercy. Right? Let's get a precept on that. This is the book of Jer Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 24. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 24. But let him that glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which executeth loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. So the Lord delights in mercy. The Lord delights in righteousness. Right? The Lord delights in, in um, um, repentance. All right? That's what the Lord delights in. All right? Let's get this. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 11. One of my favorite scriptures. It says, Say unto them, as I live, saith the Lord God, 
I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. The Most High has no pleasure in killing his own people, man. Right? He doesn't take pleasure in that. But what does he take pleasure in? But that the wicked turn from his way and live. The Most High has much more pleasure in you repenting than for him to kill you. Right? It says, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his wicked way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? You see that? So that's how the Most High feels, man. All right? And there's tons of scriptures going into how the, the Lord is very, very merciful. All right? Psalms chapter 103 and verse 9. He will not always chide, right? Neither will he keep his anger forever. The Mosa is not always going to be angry forever, right? Um, God, verse 10. It says, He have not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the height is, a, is high above the heaven, so like above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. You see that? And... You can't measure that, right? That from the heaven to, to the earth, right? Or the earth to the heavens, right? That's that's a very, very long distance. So is his mercy to, uh, uh, toward them that fear him. You see that? So that, that mercy is like infinite, right? Them there, right? And it says, and check it out. It says to them that fear him. So the Lord, he gives more mercy to those that fear him. To those that's in this truth that's actually trying to serve him in truth and in sincerity. That's actually abiding by the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. Right? To them that fear him. Right? Not to them that's just reluctant to keep his commandments. Right? Let's get this. It's the book of Exodus chapter 20. And verse, uh, I'm going I'm to go to verse 6. Right? Exodus chapter 20, verse 6, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. You see that? So the, the Lord, he has more delight in showing mercy unto, unto those that love him. All right? So just check that out. All right? So I'm going to show the 103 and verse. And that's how you receive mercy of the Lord. Okay? Because let's go to the book of um, 1 Peter. All right? 1 Peter 5 and 7. Right, I'm gonna start. Well, I'm gonna start at verse five. First Peter five and five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to who? To the humble. And you have to have you have to be humble in order for you to be in this truth, right? Because you acknowledging that the Most High is over you, and that you must abide by His laws, right? takes uh, us a form of humility to do that it takes a form of humility to submit yourself onto a god onto a uh, certain regulations and rules especially the most eyes so that's how you get grace by being clothed with the humility as apostle paul says it's like the apostle peter psalm chapter 103 in verse um 13 right I'm going to start uh, slot 12. Psalms 103 and 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far have he removed our transgressions from us. Verse 13. Like as in, in the most high, he can purge out your sins. Right? That's what that's going to do. In the most high, he can purge out your sins. Right? Just like how Hebrews 8 and 8, the new covenant, the Lord said, and I will forget, I will remember their iniquity no more. So the most high, he has power to do that. To forget iniquity, right? Verse 13. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Just like a father, you know, his child, you know, he screwed up. Child did something, right? His, his kid, he didn't listen, right? He messed up. And the father, you know, he's about to, he's about to whoop him, right? He's about to kid on him, right? But the father, he sees his child, right? And maybe the child is crying and, Begging, you know, saying, no, no, the father, hey, he's going to have pity on him, right? He's going to have mercy on him, right? Say, you know what? I'm going to let this lie, right? Because he's feeling sorry for his child. So just like that, father to his child, hey, so the Lord pity of them that fear him, right? And we begging the Lord saying, hey, please forgive us. And the Lord has has mercy and pity 
on 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 us, right? Verse fourteen. For he knoweth our frame; he remembereth that we are dust. It was just dust. I don't care if you've been in the truth five months, five years. We all dust, right? We're all dust. Every single one of us, right? We're nothing to the Most High. You know, when you when you clean out your damn bookshelf, you grab a book, it's full of dust, and you just blow that dust off so easily. That's us. Even Abraham, the 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 the, the friend of God, right? Was uh, he 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 said himself that I'm just dust and ashes. We're not better than our forefather Abraham, right? But it says that uh, for he knoweth our frame, meaning that what the Most High understands. That we are made in this fleshly body. He knows what we're made of. And he also, he also understands that. He puts you in that body. He sent you those demons. That you're dealing with. Right? Verse 15. As for man. His days are as grass. And as a flower of the field. So he flourisheth. Verse 16. For the wind passeth over it. And it is gone. And the place thereof shall know it no more. And we just grass. We just like grass, man. Read that in the book of Isaiah. All right, the 40th chapter. Let's get that. Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. And verse 7. I'm sorry, 6. The voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. And all the godliness thereof, or the goodliness thereof, is as the flower of the field. The, the grass withereth. The flower fadeth, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth. But the word of our God shall stand forever. All right? All praises. So we're likened onto grass in these scriptures. One reason is because we're so e grass is so easily to be cut down. All right? So on to the 103, a verse. Even when you read the book of Job, um, it says that our children shall be as grass, right? Let's go to Job 5. It's the book of Job chapter 5 and verse, um, right, Job 5 and 25. Thou shalt know also that thy seed, your children, shall be great, and thine offspring as the grass of the earth. You see that? So we're going to have so many kids in the kingdom that our kids are going to be like the grass upon the earth. And <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of kids, all right? That, that that's um that's a great thing to have kids though, all right, according to the, the scriptures. The Lord said, Happy is the man that have his quiver full of them. Alright. Psalm chapter one oh three in verse seventeen. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. Alright? Verse 18, to such as keep cov his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. So remember, remember, this is how we receive mercy. Of course, the, mer the Lord has mercy upon whom he has mercy. But those that fear him, those that send the truth, they keeping the commandments, doing all that uh, all that they can, really fearing the most high. Hey, they're receiving uh, more mercy than the man that's constantly going off uh, uh, in the world, right, at clubs and stuff, just totally worldly, hey, the most I was going to give you grace instead of that that person, right? Verse 18, to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruleth over all. Verse 20, bless the Lord, all ye his angels that excel in, in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Right, so the angels, they do everything that the Mosai says. All right, they're like robots. Verse 21, bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, meaning his armies. All right, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all ye all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All right, so Lord willing, this was edifying. Um, This was Psalms 103 reading and quick breakdown. Give him the course all along the glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashem, Mahashiach, Kwamalak Yabashah. All right. Kwamiyashalisha Bashalawam. Shalomor.